So we have to get very, very tough on cyber and cyber warfare. Uh, it, is a, it is a huge problem. I have a son. He's 10 years old. He has computers. He is so good with these computers. It's unbelievable. The security aspect of cyber is very, very tough. And maybe it's, it's hardly doable. But I will say, we are not doing the job we should be doing. But that's true throughout our whole governmental society. We have so many things that we have to do better, Lester, and certainly cyber is one of them. I was going to ask you to explain quantum computing, but <laughs> um, when do you expect uh, Canada's ISIL mission to begin again? And are we not doing anything in the interim uh, while we prepare? Okay. Uh, very simply, normal computers work uh, by. Uh, turn around. Don't, don't interrupt me. When you walk out of here, you will know more. Well, no, some of you will know far less about quantum computing, but most of you. Normal computers work uh, either there's power going through a wire or not. It's one or a zero. They're binary systems. Uh, what quantum states allow for is much more complex information to be encoded into a single bit. A regular computer bit is either a one or a zero, on or off. A quantum state can be much more complex than that because, as we know, uh, things can be both particle and wave at the same times and the uncertainty around quantum uh, states uh, allows us to encode more information into a much uh, smaller computer. So uh, that's what's exciting about quantum computing and that's what we're going to do.